can India really become a global chip power? Chips, not these, but the ones inside your phones, your laptops and even your cars. India wants to make them. And it's pouring $18.2 billion into that dream. Do you come to work for Daydream? Technically, I'm still working because I'm dreaming about work. Get a life. Right now, 10 semiconductor projects are underway across six Indian states. That includes two massive fabrication plants and a bunch of testing and packaging units. The biggest, $11 billion mega fab in Gujarat built by Tata Electronics with Taiwan's power chip. Think of it as India's flagship chip factory designed to make the processors that power AI, cars and data centers. Why now? Well, in 2022, the US banned exports of advanced AI chips to China. That sparked a global race for semiconductor self-reliance. And India saw an opportunity. Reduce imports, secure chips for defense and AI and grab a slice of the global electronics market that's slowly moving away from China. But here's the problem. India is a late entrant to the party. Other players, Taiwan, South Korea, the US, even Europe, already dominate. Experts say chips aren't built on shiny new fabs alone. In case you're wondering what fabs are, Fabs are short for fabrication plants. They are the ultra-secure factories where microchips are already manufactured. In fact, big semiconductor manufacturers look at nearly 500 different factors before setting up shop. Talent, trade, policies, taxes, logistics, IP laws, and yes, even whether the ground shakes too much in that area. By that standards, India has a long road to go. New Delhi knows this. That's why it launched the semiconductor mission. Initially, India tried to lure fab makers with big incentives for advanced nodes, 28 nm chips or smaller. But the takers weren't many. So the government changed tack. Now it covers 50% of the cost for all chip plants, whether they make cutting edge 2 nm chips or the more common ones used in cars and appliances. And just this May, the government added a new scheme. Subsidies for electronic component makers, phone cameras, resistors, capacitors, so chip factories actually have local customers. Without demand, fabs are just expensive showpieces. Now, fabs are insanely difficult. You need ultra-pure chemicals, vibration-free sites, flawless supply chains. Miss one step and your billion-dollar chip comes out as expensive sand. But there's another space where India could shine. OSAT, Outsourced Semiconductor Assembly and Testing. Basically, chip packaging and testing. It's less capital intensive, higher margin and India already has medium-sized companies jumping in. If India nails this, it could carve a respectable space in the global supply chain, even if it's not yet making those mind-blowing 2NM chips. Speaking of 2NM, Taiwan's TSMC is about to start mass production this year. Meanwhile, ARM just opened a new office in Bengaluru where it says the world's most advanced AI and mobile chips will be designed. Sounds futuristic, right? Well, experts caution India's role in these designs is often limited to testing and validation. The core intellectual property usually sits in the US, Taiwan or Europe, places with stronger IP laws. So. Can India become a chip major? Yes, if you look at packaging, testing and maybe even niche fabs like compound semiconductors for EVs and defence. But when it comes to cutting-edge chips, the two NM AI-ready beasts, India is still miles behind Taiwan, South Korea and the US. The next three to four years are make or break. If the Tata fab in Gujarat takes off and if the ecosystem, chemicals, logistics, IP and local demand comes together, India could actually enter the semiconductor club. But if not, $18 billion may not even scratch the surface of this trillion dollar industry. So what do you think? Will India actually become a chip powerhouse? Or are we being too ambitious? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Your portfolio with real time market updates on the go. Create effective strategies with insightful expert opinions on the go. Grow on the go with CNBC TV 18.
now streaming live 24/7 on YouTube. Thank you for watching CNBC TV 18. For all our top stories and news updates, follow us on our social media platforms.